Hey, what's up, y'all? Listen, I wanted to make this announcement on 1017 yesterday, but I just seen like like my statement, my PNL with all my artists. You know, it's almost like a whole bunch of shakeup, and it's a whole show in the industry right now. But when I look at my PNL and me being a businessman, I think that I'm gonna have to release almost all my artists except for Pusha T and Fujiano. This is a decision I didn't want to make. Um, I thought about it. You know what I'm saying? I could keep all of them under the contract. But I said, hey, f it. The, let's just make the, you know, the unselfish decision and, you know, let them take their talents elsewhere. So today, you know what I'm saying? I already reached out to all of my artists, you know what I'm saying, from their, to their lawyers and whatever, and let them know that they're free to take their talents elsewhere. And I'm still looking for new talent to pair up with, you know what I'm saying, Pooh and Foo, and that's where I'm going to put my focus. And I just wish them the best. And I just want to let everybody know that because, hey, that's where we at. What up? This is Rapids, and it looks like Gucci Man is basically dropping all of his artists except for Pooh Shiesty and Fujiano, and those are his best two artists. So that is a very smart move because he's saying basically his money ain't looking right. He's looking at all his receipts and you know what I'm saying his profit margin and stuff like that, and he's seeing that he has a bloated label right now that is probably costing him money right now. Now I don't know how it really works when you sign an artist because. I thought when you sign an artist, I don't know what are they getting like a monthly paycheck or something. What is they getting a paycheck every two weeks or something? I don't really know how that goes, but I thought you got paid up front, and from there on, the artist got to recover that money on their own, kind of. But the label helps, but the money they give them is supposed to kind of go towards a lot of the stuff they got going on. But really, it looks like Gucci Man is not really happy with what he's seeing when it comes to his return from having these artists and i can't even really name too many of his artists i know big 30 i know him and then uh big walk dog i remember a lot of his artists don't really stand out like that though with big 30 i see he's been making his moves and doing a lot of songs with different artists doing collabs and stuff so big 30 probably got a decent career ahead of him big walk dog he's doing okay too i mean i'm sure he could figure it out on his own i guess they just weren't bringing in the bread like he gucci was expecting because gucci was putting his name behind a lot of these artists i think he thought it was sweet like he could just put his name behind these artists and they would take off and you know we saw he had success with um uh, he had success with pool shiesty and fujiano and they are his best artists so i know why he's holding on to them because he saw profit with these artists he saw that these artists are stars and fujiano should be free anytime soon like it's coming up fujiano from what i recall it looks like he got like a lot of his sentences um kind of completed by now because they dropped one of his major charges that he was facing he was facing a serious charge and it looks like he beat that one but he has to finish out serving a sentence that he's serving for a, a more minor infraction so he should be out i mean i haven't really Saw his release date, but I'm guessing it'll be like in a year or something, or probably sooner. We should start to see uh, uh, Fujiano back on the streets, plus Pooh Shiesty. That's the main artist that uh, Gucci Man signed, and I think he's going to be out soon, too. I'm thinking, like, I don't know any dates right now, but if I was a guess, I was thinking, from what I recall, it's probably like 2025 or something. So that's coming up. That's really coming up quick. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, because I don't remember when exactly... Pusasi or Fujiano was getting out, but I know they both probably gonna be out sooner than later. And you're gonna see them back in the streets making moves, making new songs, making videos, and hopefully they still got their buzz though, because they've been put up for a while and the way the rap game moves is so fast now. You gotta really stay in tune and keep them moving. So we'll see if they can build their buzz back up. As long as they're not gone too long, I think you can do it. 42 Doug came back out. He's hot, he's you know, he's still making moves and getting views now so you can definitely do it but it's not guaranteed once you've been gone for a while you know what i'm saying it's it, you got to really hopefully the artists are putting together their songs while they're locked up so when they get out they can really make it happen so fujiano and pooh shiesty i'm sure they got a bunch of songs they're putting together while they're locked up and as soon as they touch back down put uh they should put a first day out video out and then get it back popping that first day out uh, tradition has been really what's been helping a lot of the artists once they get released from jail. 
because it's kind of expected at this point for artists to put a first day out song and that's supposed to come out pretty much right when you get out like maybe the next day or within a week or two you should have a first day out video and song and it's supposed to be you know what i'm saying letting people know that you touch back down and what time it is so we'll see what happens with these artists you know and gucci man himself i mean i think his buzz kind of fell off a little bit too he's not like the same gucci man that you remember from the mixtape days i think that was almost like his peak really gucci man kind of carried hip-hop for a while because that kept hip-hop real fresh and new because it was at a point when you know he was competing with the majors at that point and you know saying when gucci was dropping those mixtapes he was dropping mixtape after mixtape and it was crack and he got that whole thing lit online mixtapes people was downloading the mixtapes and listening to everything burr print three all that it was just going and it was non-stop almost nobody really saw that work ethic from an artist before where it was almost like every week it seemed like he was dropping a mixtape and they was doing numbers so gucci meant i think that was kind of his peak at that point but now you know he after he got locked up and came back out you know, he's still a pop artist. You know what I'm saying? He's still a pop artist, and I think he's still got a career, a decent career ahead of him. But I don't think it's as popping as it once was. I mean, I'm sure he's, you know, a lot of people still checking for him for the most part. And, you know what I'm saying? He could definitely put out some good videos every once in a while, I'm sure, that people will be checking for. So I wouldn't write him off for nothing. I think Gucci Man still got a, a solid career ahead of him. And, you know, so I think Pooh Shiesty and them, we'll have to see what they do, Fujiano and them, because they're the last remaining artists on that 1017 squad, unless he somehow changes his mind, but it don't look like he's gonna at this point, because he's pretty, he, he made it pretty clear he's not happy with what he's been seeing with his finances, and he needs to get to the bag, so, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that's about it, y'all. Let me uh, know what y'all think about everything in the comment section. Let's get 50 likes per video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, check out Rap Heads on social media. I got a bunch of social media links in the comment section and description box. So check all that out. I'm out of here.